is a vegetable and a highly valued spice widely used in Ghana and many parts of the world for flavoring, seasoning food and for medication. I am Enyonam and this is Ghanaian Farmer. This week on Ghanaian Farmer we focus our attention on onion farming. We travel to Ada East District, a community called Otrokwe, to have a conversation with Mr. Achu Alai. He has eight years experience in onion farming with two acres. We want to understand what it takes to go into onion farming. On Ghanaian Farmer, our sole aim is to highlight on the challenge success of farmers and also say thank you for putting food on our table. Many thanks to our proud partner, NAFCO. Go on our social media platform and join the conversation. The Ghanaian Farmer, that is our social media handle and on YouTube if you miss this episode make sure you watch YouTube for um, what the conversation was about 60 seconds will be coming up to tell you what is happening what is new what is trending in the world of agriculture and my most favorite part has to do with what can we make with this onion yes what can we make with onion in our kitchen I'll have my shelf around and your most favorite celebrity will pass through to taste the food Stay home, take your pen and notepad and take note because I have a lot in stock for you on this particular episode. I'm going for a quick breather. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying. This is Ghanaian Farmer if you just joined us. I'm for Alai. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for joining us on Ghanaian Farmer. Thank you for coming. Great. To start off, why onion? Oh, onion is good. As a Ghana or a woman be like us, we normally use onion in our kitchen every day. Mm. If you are going to cook, you don't have onion. You cannot cook mm. unless you get onion before you can cook. So that's why we normally uh, plant, plant onion. onion. Right. Okay. How do onion grow? Take us through the process. Onion, mm -hmm. we buy the, uh, the seedling. Mm. We buy the, the seedling, we do the nursery for one month. Like, the nursery? Yeah. For we, one month? Yeah, it will be ready one month. After one month, then we do this. We, we, we You transplant. Yes, yes. So you move it from the nursery bed yes. to the main yes. land yes. where the onion will be planted. Yes, okay, so when you plant it, what happens next? We'll be watering it. Then every week we'll be spraying and be giving fertilizer mm. yeah okay yeah. so how long does it take to be ready or matured for harvesting two two months two weeks it will be ready two months two, two weeks if i should approach yes. this yes. i'll find my onion well firm yes please okay yes. when you are harvesting mm -hmm. you use knife yes. to cut this off yes. the head yes. i don't know if it's the head or the tail yes. so you cut it off yes. before you take the onion itself to the market yes, right please. okay now let's talk about market availability how is that like oh market sometimes is good sometimes it's very bad mm. so sometimes if uh, like foreign ones are not coming mm -hmm. then we depend on the one that Ghanaians grow here okay. the market is good sometimes it's very bad mm. yeah so how, that's how Great. You mentioned foreign one. Does it mean we have types of onions? Yes, please. So which one is this one we grow here? It's boko green. Boko? Yes. Okay. Okay. I see. <laughs> if you don't know today, you know, this is boko <laughs> red. Yes, please. Okay. Right. Now let's talk about post-harvest losses. Mm -hmm. As a farmer, have you experienced any? Oh, yes, please. How bad was that? It's very bad. Mm. Sometimes you plant it, or maybe it's very uh, like sometimes if it's uh, growing up like mm -hmm. this, sometimes some if there's a lot of water or there's a lot of raining like this, okay. Sometimes so it means onion doesn't like too much water, water actually. Yes. okay. Yes. Okay, now that's one thing I realized the soil mm -hmm. where the onion is planted mm -hmm. is a lot of um, you know. It's a lot of soil. Yeah. Is this a kind of uh, texture or place that onion grow well? Oh, like uh, the sun inside. Like yes, this. yes. We normally use cow down. Okay. To able to make the 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 sun rich, mm. so that the onions can look well. Okay. Yes. Yeah, okay. That's so how normally we normally use cow down. Mm. 
Yes, that's how we normally use cow dung. Okay. By other clay mm -hmm. land like this, mm. so they normally use cow dung, but it's not plenty like the mm. the the this, uh, the sun. Okay. Okay. In your eight years of farming mm -hmm. onions, what have been some of the challenges or difficulty that you go through? Yeah, the challenges like if we uh, we do everything, we plant the onion as well. All the money, all the, uh, the everything that we use, sometimes we don't have money. After mm. we, the money that we have, mm. we invest it. Why? Then all the first planting, everything has spoiled. Mm. Then we have to go for a loan. Mm. If you go for the loan, mm -hmm. you came, mm. you put it again. If you get it, then you go and pay your loan. If you don't get it, mm. then you have to work hard mm. to go and pay that loan. So mm. it's very, very challenging. Right. I'm going for a quick break. When I come back, we'll talk about the land itself, where you are doing the farming, whether it belongs to you or how did you have access to it. Okay. Viewers, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyunam. Standing next to me is Achu Alai. He is the owner of two acres of onion farm with over eight years experience. And we are all the way in Ada Est District, a community called Otrokwe. Welcome back from that quick commercial break. If you just tune in your TV, you're watching the Ghanaian Farmer TV show. Mr. Achu? Yes, madam. The land you are farming on, yes. does it belong to you? No, please. How did you come by it? Oh, the owners are around, the chiefs, <laughs> we get it from the chiefs. Okay. Yes. So meaning it's been leased to you? Yes. For how many years? Two years. Okay. Now that Every two years. They renew it. Renew. That brings me to my next question. Is onion farming profitable? When you take out your expenses, mm -hmm. is it profitable? Yes, madam. It is profitable? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Is there any value we could add to onion apart from cooking in the house? Do we use onion for any other thing? Let's well, talk about the nutritional yeah, benefit. They, they use it for other things. Mm -hmm. and they, they use it for medicine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I right. see. Yeah, mm -hmm. Labor. Mm -hmm. How do you come? Because this land is big. Maybe if you give me one row. I'll be here. <laughs> do you understand? Yeah, How exactly. do you do this? Because it's a lot. Oh, we get the laborers. Mm -hmm. They came, they charge us. Okay. Then we pay them, they dig it. Then we pay them. Uh, as a farmer, mm -hmm. what keeps you going? Oh, because farming like this mm -hmm. is good. Okay. Farming is good. Mm -hmm. If you are using farming, mm. you, are, you will not be thinking that there's mm. no job in mm. the community. There's mm. no job. Mm. Government is not giving us job. Mm. So we want government to give us job. Okay. So if I'm also doing this much mm. more, I also do this to take care of my family. Okay. I also do this to get what I want in life. Right. Right. Okay. We are wrapping up our conversation. Yes, what are some of the support you have enjoyed oh, so far? And the incentive officers, they mm -hmm. came around mm. to teach us what to what to do, mm. what to not do. Mm -hmm. If you have a lot of difficult mm -hmm. like diseases mm -hmm. that are disturbing the crops, right. the farmers they will come mm. and teach us how we go about it. Okay. Then government subsidies too mm. we benefit from mm. it. Okay. Mm. So viewers <laughs> right coming up is sixty seconds on a Greek. This gives you an insight to what is trending in the world of agriculture. I will be back with an extension officer to have a little bit of more technical support they give to farmers within the Adan Est district specifically or Trokwe. Stay tuned.
gone by was 60 seconds on a Greek. I believe you've learned a thing or two on what is trending in the world of agriculture. You're still watching Ghanaian farmer. And my name is Enyunam. Joining me now for a very brief conversation is an extension officer by name Moses Agbetiame. He is in this locality helping farmers. Thank you once again for joining us. A uh, quick one, let's get to understand. Do we have types of onions grown in Ghana? Yes, we have types of onions grown. We have the boko red, which is grown here, and we have the red tea, which is also grown here. We have the white one, uh, which is used for spring run, but we are not doing that here. Mm -hmm. We mostly grow the boko red here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have like almost three yes. types. Yes. Okay. Um, during the growing of um, onions, let's talk about some of the inputs. What are some of the... That, do they use the same fertilizer as cocoa and maize? The kind yes. of inputs used yes. for they, onion farms? They use same fertilizer like maize and other vegetables like tomato and cocoa fertilizers are special fertilizers made for the... Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Mm. They, now, mm -hmm. they also use manure in our locality here. Right. They use a lot of manure. Okay. Like cow dung, pig dung, cow, uh, poultry. It helps manure. a lot. Yes, it helps Great. a lot. Okay. Normally, when they grow, we have the, uh, the, the, the bulb rotting. Okay. In case of when maturity sets in and there is excess water, mm. the bulbs will rot due to fungal attack, mm. fungal diseases. Mm. We have some type trips which is affect it on the leaves to bring virus diseases mm. and the necks we, twi we twist okay. and we call it twisted neck. Okay. Those are virus diseases. Th that's one the bulb may not fall mm. and the leaves will be dying. Okay, mm. I see. So does this happen often or it's seasonal? It's seasonal, it's not often. Okay. It's, uh, occasional mm. it comes. Okay. So mostly we advise farmers mm -hmm. to start treating their crops before that time, if you start from the outset, mm -hmm. the insects and those things will not ha will come. Mm. You have to control your water system. When your water system is controlled, your manure and all those things is controlled. You may not get those diseases. How often does government come to the aid of farmers or collaborate with you, extension officers, to help organize training and other things for farmers? Oh, we have training. Government come often every uh, every year. They okay. Come. We have seasonal or uh, with monthly trainings for farmers mm. in various aspects of their farming, crops and livestock. They come, we train them, we train them on farmer field schools, how to grow their crops, even on the animals, even how to use part of the, uh, the waste product from the farm to feed their livestock too. Excellent. Yes. Your final message to farmers who do not call on extension officers for support. I would advise farmers to always get in contact with the officers, at the extension officers, because they are the people who teach them the new and modern technologies to improve their yield. Thank you very much, Mr. Moses Agbetiame, an Agric Extension Officer here in Ada East District, precisely. Um, ultra, 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 ultra. <laughs> Coming up is my favorite segment on the show. What can we make with this? This is Ghanaian Farmer TV show. My name is Enyuna. Thanks for joining us on today's episode. I believe you learned something. Next week, I'll be back again. Until then, it's a bye for now. That was an insightful conversation I just had with Achu, the owner of Two Acre Onion Farm in a community called Otrope in Adan East District. This is Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyona. Back in the farm, I told you I'll go to the kitchen with a crop we are talking about, which happens to be onions, to go and prepare something delicious for you. Do you know that if you're a diabetic patient, you need to be eating more of onions? Yes. It is very good. Share your thought with us on all our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. It is Ghanaian Farmer. And if you missed this episode, don't worry. Just go on YouTube, Ghanaian Farmer TV show, and watch. My name is Enyuna. Many thanks to our fraud partner, Nafco. But today in the kitchen, you know I get to be the boss. Yes, and I have a beautiful lady. It is said or alleged that beautiful ladies, they don't like cooking. Or they don't know how to cook. Well, she would justify 
you know, that means today in my kitchen. Her name is Doreen Avio. She's a radio and TV personality, a photo model. She's a mother and a wife. She is also the host of Cruise Control on Hit 103.9. FM. Doreen, thanks for joining us. Thank you. My I, beautiful Doreen. Yes, you know, yes. every time I thought you were an Ewe woman. Oh, I think I get that a lot because um, lots of people, my surname, uh -huh. are you, okay. they go like, oh, it's an Ewe name, but it's actually a northern name. Okay. Um, so I'm from the north. Don't worry, we want to borrow you to the Ewe land. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome once again. Thank so you. this is the main crop we featured, onions. Okay. Right. So what are you preparing? This is your yam that you requested mm -hmm. for your egg this year. You have some fresh tomatoes, mm -hmm. garlic, ginger, fresh mm -hmm. pepper, green pepper. So let me know where you want to start from. Okay, so it looks like uh, you have all my ingredients. Yes. So today I'm going to prepare egg stew uh -huh. with yam, which is one of my favorites. Okay. I love it so much. So mm -hmm. I'm just going to take you through the process. And okay. I'm excited because I like onions. Mm. I, I like to use them a lot in my stew, in okay. my soup. Right. Make, it, it gives it a sweet taste exactly yes. you can't cook without onions mm -hmm. so what are you starting with first okay so i will need just a little oil okay and then i can put my onions in there mm -hmm. so once i, I start stirring mm -hmm. i wouldn't let it cook too much okay. because i still need that strength right from the onion. okay so once i do that then i can add my garlic ginger and then uh, pepper okay, okay. Right. Okay. nice So the onions, which one are you using? Okay, so I'll take the chopped ones away. Okay. And then maybe later I would uh, add a little. Right. Yes. So we'll just let the oil heat up a little mm. bit. Because, you know. Before you add your onions. Mm -hmm. we okay. Do fresh things. So everything is fresh, fresh. fresh I fresh. know, right? Yes. So okay, no. I think this mm, is this good. Do. Yes. No, because we are always in the kitchen, <laughs> we just improvise. So uh, we're going to do our onions. Wow. Our onions is ready. Right. But I understand you venture into the media space somewhere around 209. Nine. Nine. Yes. Okay. After I had my first daughter. All right. I see. Mm. But who introduced you? Did you go to a journalism school or it was that by chance? Can I know what my is? Yeah, sure. Let me help you. Not really. Not into a journalism school. Uh, oh. Nothing about journalism at all. Mm -hmm. uh, what it was is that, hmm, you know, in life, hmm, a lot of things just brings us to certain things. Okay. So I heard about, um, about a sales advertisements on radio okay. and online. Uh -huh. So that was when I you I apply. To apply. Okay. Yeah, so I heard about the advertisement uh -huh. and once I heard about it, I just decided that you know what, let me apply because I was looking for a job then. <laughs> okay. So when it happened, why not? I went there without a, a secondary school without a university certificate. Or I just see. a secondary school. Certificate? Yes. You are bold. <laughs> I said, oh, we're looking for university. You know. I said, oh, I've not been there, but... You know, give me a try. Me, mm, let's give me a try. So I was called for an interview. Okay. And when the interview was uh, set, hmm, you don't believe what happened that day. I see. When I got there. Right. We sat down, they asked me to advertise something. Water. I couldn't do it. You think it was children's play? I just said that too. I would just go out there and tell them I'm selling water and they will buy. They said that's not how it works. So I said, okay, whatever you people want me to sell here, let me try. If it doesn't work, you can let me go. Just give me maybe a month or two. I like your confidence. Mm -hmm. Whilst your stew is on fire, yes. Uh, would you want to put your yam on yes, the side? I would like to put my yam on the that's side. That's fine. But so I, I would also want to blend my ginger and garlic. Okay, I can help you with that. Yes. So I can definitely help yep. you with that. Mm. Mm -hmm. So maybe I can do my yam in this pan. Uh, okay, that will that one be okay for you? Uh, it should be enough. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for staying with us. This is still Ghanaian farmer 
kitchen segment that what can we make with onion Doreen my beautiful on air personality is here in my kitchen preparing x you and yam so first of all she put the oil on fire you know added her onions tin tomatoes is in there we just blended our ginger garlic and uh, fresh pepper so she's going to mix it and then she's also in a nice husband is your yam right yam is so it's alongside yeah. by the time i realized everything is ready we back 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 if you missed this episode go on our youtube channel and watch the ghanian farmer just share your thought with us share the link with your friends who have missed the episode on joy prime every monday 2 30 p.m prompt my name is Enyonam, and here in my kitchen is doreen avio doreen quickly so how has the journey been for you in the media industry it's been the ups and downs you know mm -hmm. considering the fact that you're mm -hmm. green okay in the industry uh -huh. you're now learning the job okay and you know as i said because mm -hmm. i was a salesperson mm -hmm. i got there and i realized that jack it wasn't working <laughs> <laughs> so that was when i heard that um our hr had announced that uh, if you know you're good at something else apart from what you're doing you could actually be a I get it down. Oh, there's a lot of paper. In I told you. <laughs> I love paper. So then, um, that was when I went and said I wanted to try production. Okay. So I started being an assistant producer mm -hmm. for Hit Seven, mm -hmm. then producer, mm -hmm. graduated to, you know, reading on air. Okay. Then uh, started writing. You you, you you went through the ranks. Uh, in fact, it wasn't easy <laughs> because it was from one place to the uh -huh. other, and it wasn't like a mm -hmm. minute or mm -hmm. a second, or okay. like nowadays. It took a long time because you have to learn the process. You have to understand mm. what you're doing. You mm. have to appreciate mm. what you're doing. Okay. So it took some time. Mm. It was a, a graduate. Remember, people were there before. Exactly. Went, so you can't just go and no. be like, you know. No. Yeah, so that was how it all started. Okay. And I, I can say that maybe things got a bit great or better. Mm -hmm. Maybe somewhere around 2012, 2013. Mm. Because uh, I picked up a bit, okay. and that was when I started presenting entertainment news on Hit FM. Right. It wasn't really, it wasn't common. But why not any other sector? Entertainment. Ah, uh, it was entertainment because um, some of that the politics we didn't even know what was going on. <laughs> you don't know much about <laughs> it, yeah? Didn't know anything okay. About it, so it was uh, quite easy to venture into entertainment, okay. getting to know some of the artists mm. or the actors. Mm. I actually started my. My career, career with, them. with them because okay. they had also now gotten it either into acting, mm. music, okay. or maybe art or something. So I, see. I started with them and I grew with them. Okay. When we went on that break, I asked you how are you balancing in between marriage Ooh, and, and work? Honestly, mm -hmm. it's not easy, my dear, because mm. um, considering the fact that you have children, you okay. have a husband, right. so you have to balance mm. everything. So you, one side doesn't have to suffer, work doesn't. Have to suffer mm. probably doesn't have to suffer so if you're timing yourself to do whatever you need to do you make sure when you come to work if it's five hours if it's six hours mm. whatever you need to do you yeah. need to get it done on time so okay. you can go okay. even if because i'm an entertainment person right. sometimes i go out at night for events if i have to go i have to prepare to make sure everything is set at home so that when i go i don't get calls where kids are going to be like mommy we want this there's nothing in my husband yes so you have to balance your it's shadow not, it's not easy because uh -huh. sometimes you finish and it's like, um, you know, sometimes at a point when I get to any location, I sit and there's nothing happening. That's that's <laughs> happening. <laughs> okay, that's, that's just by the way. But you know what, Doreen, at this point, let me go sip some water because I'm yeah. tasty. Mm -hmm. By the time I come, I please make sure your food is ready. It will be ready. Serve me. I will serve you. I have my pen and taste. paper to take. Oh, you, you know, will mark take you. 200,000. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so viewers, I believe you are enjoying this particular segment. I'm going for a breather. When I come back, we'll set the table this time around. We will not go back cooking again, but the table will be set. My crew are right there waiting to taste the food. By next year, may go be a tremendous or set way so. I'll be right back after this. Wow, this is the point. I wish you all in the house watching us bon appetit because my yam and X2 is ready. All thanks to Doreen Avio, our, our, our special, beautiful guest who joined us today on our kitchen segment. And I told you that onion has a lot of um, health 
benefits okay it contains cancer fighting compounds is also when you're eating onions it helps control your blood sugar which is especially significant for diabetes patients you would want to put a lot of onions into your meal moving forward when you're cooking Doreen yeah. so I, I, I realize you left some of your onions are you taking it away oh yes okay yeah, you put it in a <laughs> nice this is for you to go eh? mm -hmm. all right so your food is ready oh yes I mean the drew Hannah I like to serve myself so hold on you are in my hey. my kitchen uh -huh. that? At this point, I'm the one who did no, 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 don't, don't, please, don't let me get angry with you. I beg you. Where it has got into? Oh, uh, uh, bread. Uh -huh. So now you can save yourself, okay? Let me. No matters when we are eating. Uh -huh. We don't when we cook. We don't eat much. Okay, then please uh, try and leave some. <laughs> are you sure you're on diet? I wish. I wish. Uh, okay, so you. Uh, so you you would do the test mm -hmm. first. I have to cause I'm the judge here. Say see baby you do need you. I have to score you. Mommy cook, daughter will score. Mm. Mm. That's the pepper. The pepper is very very. I I, I realize you don't like too much salt. Mm -mm. Mm. Mm. Okay, but the, the the salt is okay. The yum. Mm. Doreen, yes. there are a lot of young girls out there who mm. are watching you, mm -hmm. admiring you, mm -hmm. uh, wanting to become the next Doreen have you. Mm. What do you have to tell them? Mm. It's, it's a worry, but mm. for me, I would um, always encourage and advise them to be patient. Mm. You know, patience is something that a lot of people find it difficult to wait on. Mm. I've, I've had young girls come to me in the office to tell me that, oh, I want to be a presenter, I want to be this. And when you tell them, go and finish your education, when you come back, you can do something. They are like, oh, I want to do it now. Mm. I want to end. You know, sometimes it's quite worrying. But if you're patient, you give yourself that time, you finish your education, mm -hmm. you come in there mm. and tell them what you want to do. It takes it takes your talent, it takes mm. what you're capable of doing. And once you start mm. and you're good, mm -hmm. you'll get a hand, you get a push, mm. and you'll get wherever you want. I see. To. But what do you have to tell our farmers who Ooh. made it possible for me and you to be enjoying you know, what we're enjoying? I wish I'd gone with you to the farm mm. the, the farm mm -hmm. to see um, this onion farm. Okay. Um, but I want to tell them that God blessed them so much mm -hmm. because without them, mm -hmm. we couldn't do this. No. Um, these days, our uh, foods is like you get up and you're, you're just going to the market to buy food, but you don't know where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. These are from farmers. Mm -hmm. Ghanaian farmers. Ghanaian farmers. Mm -hmm. They're doing a good job mm -hmm. in making sure that we get the best meals to eat. God strengthen you guys. May I mean, may you always get the help you need mm -hmm. in whatever you do. Be, be whichever cup you are. Mm -hmm. You're producing. Mm -hmm. God bless you all and uh, all the best. All the best, says Doreen Avio. She was our guest this week on The Ghanaian Farmer. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm. Next week will come your way again. With my next guest is what? Tilapia? Yes. <laughs> you know what? Just tag me with what you made back home with Onion on social media and I'll give you a shout out. Until then, it's a bye for now. <laughs>